is it. Go outside in the fresh air and you'll realise why it's called punch. Here? Where's he having his 18th at a little share? We didn't have to come. Who's that? Must be his sister. She said she might bring up. Is that all right? All right? It's sound, mate. Where are you going? Might be a good night to take the glider out. John should be here. Oh. I'm going to go and find him. All right. So I've got my own business. Yeah, right. I swear to God. Well, what do you do then? Buying and selling. Ducking and diving. <laughs> I can tell, boy. <laughs> yeah, you won't have to look far for Rodney. When you get your three-wheel van? Actually, I'm thinking about getting transport. You're 16, you can't drive. It can drive a 50cc moped and an invalid carriage. Oh, bet Richard Branson's quaking in his boots. Not yet, he isn't. <laughs> Another punch? You can spare time out your busy schedule, then. Yeah? <laughs> So, how old are you? What's it to you? Just making conversation. But if you'd rather do something else? Such as? I don't know. Have a dance? I won't want to slip on the greasy floor, thanks. But I was thinking, now that you're legal and all, maybe we could slip off and uh, go for a spin outside. Oh, come on, it'll be a laugh. Oh, right. What your sister mind? Just because she's disabled, why should she have all the fun? Come on, she'll be fine. Cool. I don't take kindly. Oh, well, you ask that, you two. Don't a flat battery. Eh? Let's see what this will achieve. <laughs> I've got a right to see what I'm paying for. Oh, get us out of it. Quick. Come on. Oi! Oi, get off that! It's not a fairground ride. I'm to clip you around the ear, old sunshine. And you? You know your sister depends on that. How could you hijack it? She didn't. I let him take it. She did. Oh, don't bother. It's easier for him to blame me. He always does. You're drunk. Who's giving you booze? Mm. Now they've only had fruit juice. It's just his 16th birthday. Fruit juice, my eye. You can't lie, the lot of you. No, no, no. You're, you're, you're mistaken. What kind of degenerate supply kids would drink, eh? It's not their fault. I spiked the punch. Stay there. What? Stay there. Dad? Dad? Dad, I'm not coming up there in these shoes. Dad! What? Dad. Who gave you that? I was just lying there. I don't carry hammers around with me, do I? I'm busy. What do you want? Well, just passing by and thought I'd say hello. How much? How much what? How much is it going to cost me to get rid of you? Depends on how much you love me, doesn't it? You're right now about two quid. Oh, I thought it was at least worth 50. <laughs> now 20. I need 50. Yeah, what's it for? Alright, 20. You do know you can buy my love, don't you? I just did. 20 quid's worth. Tell me when it runs out. <laughs> say goodbye, Dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Some chips? Uh, yeah, okay. All right, well, uh, come on, don't let my dad see you. No, dogs. I run a market stall. Cool collars for top dogs. Oh, I've always wanted a dog, but my dad won't let me have one. He says it's too much trouble. Who's gonna feed it? Who's gonna feed the food? Do you wanna see my dog? You got a dog? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Great name, called Schmeichel. Oh, I don't like big dogs. I like them little ones you can put in your bag. Anyway, should we go in? Do you want to come to a wedding? <laughs> what? I'm best man and I can invite a mate. Do you want to come? A wedding? Free food and drink and you can dress up. When? Bank holiday weekend. No, I don't know. I'll think about it. OK. Thanks for the chips. Bye. She's dog mad, eh? Yeah, it comes from living you all these years. Hilarious not. Thanks, Katie. You working down the market today? I work there every day. How about a bunk off and give you a hand? Uh, I didn't hear that. I was only joking. I wasn't. <laughs> well, you get into trouble. What's the point in going into school? They don't teach you nothing anyway. It's going to be better for me in the long run if I get some proper work experience. 
Oh, come on, I want the dog fighting. Go on then. As long as you pull your weight. What are you trying to say I'm fat? And don't tell your dad. Has it? Do you want some of this? Well, I'm so sorry about the sheets. <laughs> The dog's going to eat in the lap of luxury tonight, now, isn't it? I love him, you know. We all love our dogs, that's why it's worth going the extra mile for them. Cheers. <laughs> First sale? You're a natural. Yeah, I learnt from the master. At this rate, I'm going to pay you a day's wages. I'm having a ball. Should I take Michael for a little walk? Oh, don't leave me. All right, then, in a bit. Yeah, can you get us a kick or something? You all right there? Do you want to have a look? What's that? I'm moving into your street at the weekend. You're joking? No. Do you know my dad's taking over that building shard down the corner from yours? Well, we're moving into the flat that goes with it. Cool. I know. Just you and your dad? Yeah. My mum walked out on us on that when I was little, so... My dad's brought us up, really. Why did she walk out? Well, she won't tell anyone. She couldn't cope with our reason. You know, with the, like, being in a wheelchair. That's about that. No? Silly cow. Still, at least your dad was around. He never let you down. This cake's minging, innit? Yeah. <laughs> they only can't be that desperate. Thanks again. You were brilliant. I really enjoyed it. Where have you been? As if I can't guess. School. They rang. It's my fault. No, it's not. I chose to go with him. Inside now and you clear off. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Come on, Squaddy. What are you waiting for? I'm on my dinner. Yeah, but when you've had your dinner, make sure you get back to school. Yeah, I am doing. I'll walk her there when we're done. You know, make sure she goes in and everything. You know who you are, don't you? Molotov. Stalin's right hand man. I did about him in history. Glad you learned something at that place. We'll with you in a minute, mate. I hope you've had some greens with that. Yeah, half a bag of chocolate lime. Oh, yeah, very funny. Oh, shall I get you another snot rag, love? That one looks knackered. You're all right. I was saying when I were up stick, like me had a fall off at shop. How far are you? Sorry, I've got to go. Hey, you've not paid! Oh. I'll do it exactly then. <laughs> all right, there's one man and his dog. <laughs> Afternoon. Afternoon, Mr Armstrong. And how was school, darling daughter? She did go. I walked to her myself. He's a good lad. He's my boyfriend, not my bodyguard. All the same. Cheers, Chesney. What are you doing tonight? He's wondering if that's a trick question. And I'm wondering if the lad fancies a drink on me. Of course he does. Non-alcoholic. Oh, he's washing his hair. Rover, 7 p.m. onwards. Oh, where he can keep his bead a little eye on you, unlike at the flat. I don't know. You moan when I don't include your friends, and then you moan when I do. That'll be sound, yeah. See ya. We'll have to buy him a present. <laughs> oh, too thick for. She just blanked me. No, oh, she didn't. Everyone thinks I'm a thug. I about it all the time. All the best entrepreneurs have digestive problems. Oh, really? <laughs> it's the stress. Never mind Porsches. You're nothing in the city if you've not got a stomach ulcer. Yeah, well, I don't want you getting one. What's up if I got bad breath or something? No, you've got lovely breath. I just um, ran out of mine. Well, breathe in then. In it a bit. It's only quarter to nine. Do you only kiss in office hours or something? <laughs> or was you expecting a bit more than a kiss? No, no. So you don't want more? No. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure. You've not done this before, have you? What, me? No. It's all right, I know either. You haven't? Oh, you don't sound too surprised. Sorry. I really like your chairs, so maybe if it feels right, we could... Play it by ear? <laughs> now I know you've not done it before. <laughs> I'll leave him. You in there, mate? Oh, I forgot about him. We'd arranged to uh, pick up some stock. I'd better... Sorry, I'm late. Couldn't find any Monday socks. Monday socks? I bought these pairs with the days of the week on. Better than a watch they were. So they started going missing. 
I'm down to a Sunday, a Tuesday, and three Fridays. Three Fridays? I bought two pairs. I like Fridays. I'll just sit the cattle on and parched. Well, can't you get rid? Not really. Anyway, John and Fizz will probably come barging in next. Yeah, you're right. I don't want it to feel rushed, do we? Oh, look, my dad goes out every Friday night. We could have the place to ourselves. You sure? I don't want to wake up in casualty. Oh, he's never back before midnight. I mean, you know, it could be the night, if it felt right. Friday at yours, then. And don't forget, Laurie Kirk's socks if necessary. It's OK, I'll remember. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. Best thing I ever did. You know, I left school when I was your age. And I think the general consensus was that I was headed for the gutter. But the educational route is not the only one that life has to offer. Surprise! Hiya. I got your text saying you was here, so I thought I'd pop in and surprise you. But I'm going to have to go, otherwise I'm going to miss my bus. So I'll see you tonight. Yeah. That's if you still want to. Course, yeah. See ya. See ya. So, you, you've made arrangements for tonight? Yeah. Are you going out somewhere with, with friends, perhaps? Not going out, no. No. I never had much of a social life when I was your age. Well, or, or now, come to think of it. Well, thanks, Roy. I enjoyed that. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, you're off back down the market? No, I'm just uh, taking a day off. Got things to do. Oh. Well, well, good luck in whatever new ventures you may be undertaking. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much. That'll be Katie. Good luck, then. Yeah, thanks, mate. Don't worry. I'm just leaving. What's up? It's been flaming, Dad. He's staying in now. He's what? Is anyone going to be in here? I, I don't know. Oh, I thought that was you, Katie. We're going to watch Final Destination and have a Chinese. Join us if you like. Half an hour later. Hello? Brian? Uh, it's bad time, mate. Is it? No, I do not want to buy a new kitchen. Oh, they never give up, do they? Where are you going? Oh, I've got the craving for some spicy Greek sausage. We just had a Chinese. Yeah, what our baby desires, our baby must have. We'll, we'll have to go over town to get that. Right, then get your skates on. <laughs> you two want to come with us? No, uh, no, nah, you're all right. All right, see you when we see you. Did that just happen? Put them plates back. Yeah. Do you still want to do it? Of course. Weird, though. What? Tonight. First it's on, then it's off, and then it's on again. Oh, is it thrown yet? No. Because we don't have to do it if you don't want. Come on. Who's that? Pizza leaflet. Maybe it's not meant to be tonight. I mean, we keep getting interrupted. Well, if it don't feel right. Yeah, there's no rush, is there? So do you want to leave it? I don't know. It's... What do you think? It won't be the end of the world, I suppose. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. All right, then. Don't know. Yeah, you do. I've spent years wondering what that would be like. Not disappointed, are you? No way. Are you? So do you feel any different? Yeah, I suppose. I mean, nobody can call me a kid anymore now. Do you? I did the first time I did it. You've done it before? Only once. So you lied to me? Well, I didn't want you to feel too nervous. Who was he? Who, buddy? A creep. Was I... Oh, no comparison. It's the first time it's meant anything. You mad I didn't tell you? No, I don't mind. It's time you have to be back. And I think some staying at his is. Stay here if you like. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> Kieran! Okay, come on. No, not that way. Why not? Anyone could see us. It's broad daylight out there. What if your dad's walking past? Come on, out the back. Oh, I'm gone. I'm starving. Can I just have some toast or some rice crispies? No. You can't. But I'm hungry. I've not eaten for ages. It's too dangerous. How about some yoghurt? I love yoghurt. If we get caught, 
Are we are going to be in so much trouble. You ashamed of me? Roots of the forest? Did I just see a black cherry fruit carnu in there? That's fizzies. Go on, you can have it. Did you have a good night last night? I had the best night of my life. That doesn't sound cool, does it? <laughs> it sounds cool to me. Go. Go, 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 go. Spoon! I'm going to read and think and drink tea and eat cakes. It's my first day off in weeks. And I'm going to make the most of it by doing absolutely nothing. Hiya. Morning. Hiya. What? Have you just washed your hair? No, I... Oh, you look different. Do I? Yeah, you look different, don't you, John? You don't look different to me. I'm not different. I'm the same. Same as I always was. Hey, who's had my fruit corner? Oh, sorry, that was me. I was saving that. Sorry? I couldn't resist it. You don't even like yoghurt. That's why he looks different. Guilt. Mum? No? Not been bragging to you, mate. I wouldn't do that. You ashamed of me? I'll probably tell Kirk. He is my best mate, but I won't be bragging. I can stop thinking about you today. Oh, I couldn't, yeah? I hope this old any colours. No, I don't like that. I want you to win loads of money so you can shower me with it. Funny you say that. Tells the time in 17 different countries. Including England? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're amazing. Have you told anyone about us? Only Dad. You are? It's alright, he's cool with it. Don't care what I do. Really? I've had loads of boyfriends. Have you? I'm winding you up. I'll go. I'll see you later. Bye. I'm allergic. I can't have them in the house. <laughs> no, they're not for you. <clears throat> A little thank you to our Katie for putting out, are they? No. Your latest conquest is my baby girl. She's not a conquest. I'm mad about her. I wouldn't do anything to her. You better not, Sunshine, because if you do, I will come looking for you and I will mash you to a pulp. Jess? Are you ready? Have a pleasant evening. You okay? Yeah, it's fine. Are you sure? What you said he would call about us. What's he done? Pin me to the wall and threaten me. You're joking. Grab me by the throat. Oh, I'll kill him. No, don't. Make it worse. He's a psycho. Do you upstairs then? Could have been worse, I suppose. Put your foot to the side. Next one creaks. What? Oh, no. What are you doing? We're just going. Well, uh, yeah, well, I can see that. Don't say out to Fizz, will you? Hello? What's happening? Why is everybody up? Oh, great, now everyone's going to know. Uh, no, it's OK. Um, does your dad know you're here? Not unless you tell him. So where does he think you are? Schoolmates. So let him go on thinking it. What harm is it doing? Well, she's lying to her dad, for one thing. Hey, what's all this? What have you been up to? Never mind me. Um, I just caught these two on their way out. <gasps> And I thought I could hear noises. Look, I'm sorry, OK? Only can we not tell Katie's dad? Yeah, cos he'll kill me. And then he'll probably uh, kill me as well. Well, I don't know. Hey, don't look at me. Oh, why don't we all just calm down, eh? And have a bit of breakfast. I mean, where were you two going to go? Oh. School. A bit early, aren't you? Chesney, she's your guest. Get the two of you some breakfast while I go get myself ready. Yeah, OK. Mm. What are you doing up? Did you hear him? Uh, yeah, I did, yeah. Uh, make you a cup of tea, shall yeah, I? Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Hiya. I've got to be quick, because I'm not supposed to be here. Your text said you wanted to warn me. Yeah, came out of your house this morning, and what happened? I bumped straight into my dad dinner. No. Yeah, and he's coming round to yours tonight, and he is really, really not happy. He's coming round to my house? Yeah, your sister invited him. So what are we going to do? Well, I think you should stand up to him, tell him we're old enough to do as we like. But won't that just make him even madder? Yeah. Here it probably will. How's it going? And you know, because of what he told you, that being 16 doesn't make you an adult and free to make a mess of your life. Oh, 
good, you're here. Come in. How do? Nice to see you. Sit down. Thank you. Now, what can I get you to drink? We've got tea, Nothing, coffee. Thanks. Come here to talk, not to drink. Oh, come on, you can have a cup of tea. As you may know, I brought up my two daughters on my own. Not the easiest of tasks. And not made any easy when folks like to think of as neighbours encourage my youngest here to disobey my instructions and behave like... Well, I'm not going to use any bad language. Let's just say behave in a shameful fashion, eh? We didn't encourage anybody. We didn't even know she was here. Well, an house as big as this, you didn't know. We didn't. Which might make us stupid or blind and deaf, but we didn't. And if you don't believe that, then fine, don't believe it. You already told him you didn't. Yeah, well, I'm telling him now. Calm down, calm down. No, why should I? Nobody ever takes any notice of what I say, or if they do, it's just to tell me I'm lying. Well, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of all of this. I'm sick of everything. All right, you didn't know she was here, I accept that. Thank you. Can I just ask you what your attitude would have been had you known? Well, we wouldn't want her disobeying you. Of course we wouldn't. So you'd have kicked her out? Uh, I think we would, yeah. Possibly. Right. Well, I'm telling her now, in front of you, so nobody's in any doubt. I don't want her seeing this lad again. So, are you going to back me up? They better not, or I'm going. Yeah, and I'm coming with you. Can you believe this? Look, Owen, we're not Chesney's mum and dad. No, but you're as near as he's got, by all accounts. I want to know, are you going to back me up or not? Well, we wouldn't want Katie here if you're not happy with it. But we are talking about in this house. We can't lay the law down for what happens in the great wide world. All right, fair enough. But I'll deal with the great wide world. So you two, you've heard that. Whatever's been going on stops now and stops for good, okay? Very well, thanks. Well, true though. What's true is that I'm your father and as such I'm responsible for your moral welfare. Listen, I'm gonna have to leave you all to it. What? Do you have to? <laughs> yeah. Look, well, there's nothing more to say, is there? I think we're agreed that what happened was unacceptable and we're gonna do all we can to make sure it doesn't happen again. Yes, no more sneaking around, no. I think they both get the message. Right, come on then, young lady. I'm sure you've got plenty of homework to do. I haven't, no. Then I shall be ringing the school tomorrow asking why not. Bye then. Bye. Bye then. Well, thanks. What else could we say, Chesney? We could hardly defend you, could we? That's what happens now. We stop seeing each other. You really think that's going to happen? <laughs> Hi, babe. Yeah. I hope my dad didn't see me coming in. Have a birthday, Sophie. Thanks, Kate. I got you a present. Just a little thing. <laughs> cool party, Sophie. Thanks, Chess. I'll get it! Whose party is this? Yours or hers? It's mine. She's just kind of like my little slave. Oh, nice one. Mm. Oh, that's so cute. Hey. Who's my name on that? Everyone, who's the cherry bunker? Oh. I could have sworn I put him down there. Stop worrying, you've got your back door key now. Come on, I'm starving. Come on. You're joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Oh, did you think that with me, Dad? <laughs> so go on, you said you were moving out. I ain't living with his and John. I just need my own space. God, I wish you didn't have to live with my dad, the caveman. Sounds like the title of a movie, that. <laughs> my dad, the caveman. Will Ferrell would be in it. I want to see it. Be full of misery. I've seen misery. Do you know what? I've got a part-time job. I could move in with you. You're joking. Don't like I'm joking. <sighs> nice one. <laughs> Life's too short for dinner in chairs, and if it's the only way we get to spend time together, do you know what I mean? God, I'm not really. So, do you fancy it or what? Well, I fancy you. So, what do you think? I think I better tell my dad. Cook breakfast. I have a son got all nervous. Look, should we leave it? If we leave it, we'll never do it. Come on. What are you playing at? I thought all you banned you from seeing each other. You can come and see my dad if you want, can't I? Not with him, you can't. So what's going on? Why arrive mob handed? Can we go somewhere and sit down? If you operate. Don't be daft. What do you say me for? I've seen them documentaries. Underage and having sex. I'm not wet behind the ears, you know, so what is it? We're moving in together. Yeah, I don't think so. Isn't it tough we are. Tough you're not. I will take care of her if that's what you're worried about. Listen, mate. You might have just left school, but you still look like you should be in short trousers. Yeah, but you're behaving like you should be in nappies. 
You can't treat us like kids. We're grown-ups now. In between us, that's what you are. You're just jealous. Of what? The fact that I can keep a relationship, whereas you can't. Come, Chesham, well, that'll be you. Right. Go look at some places to rent, eh? I'll paint the bedroom completely black. Oh, that'd be a bit depressing. Well, no, because what you do is you stick a lot of stars on it, like silver and gold and stuff. That is brilliant. I know. Oh, oh. Hang on a minute. Jason! You got a minute, man? Look, Chaz. You know your flat? Yeah. Well, I was just wondering how much rent you'd be asking. Who wants to know? I do. Well, me and Kate. <laughs> OMG, I have really heard it all now. Do you want to play Wendy House, do you? I'm earning now, so I can afford my own place. Which is more than you can afford, so shut it. You cheeky little mare. Don't know, mate. 3 50 something like that. Yes, and it doesn't mean £3.50 if that's what you're thinking. I'm not thick. Yeah, well, you are if you think you can afford a flat. Right, okay, there's rent, there's uh, council tax, bills. It costs a bomb. And how would you know? You still live at home, your mum and dad. At your age? <laughs> Shame. All oh, right, guys. You'll have to be quick. I've got a couple of students interested. You know, why don't you speak to the Dobbs? Yeah, maybe you can rent them outside Bog. That's more in your league. Shut it, Baphead. Right, lady, you are begging for a slap. Whatever. Don't you dare! Hey, boobs out. You think she's the only girl with a flat of her? She's a total cow. I'm telling you something, she had a point. How do you mean? What about us not being able to afford a flat? We've got to find somewhere, Chez. I can't stand being around my dad for another minute. No, I mean, we should probably be looking at bed sits and that. Just something smaller. Oh, great. Are you? What are you doing standing around in here? Get back to that flat and do your homework now. Dad, I'm not a kid. I'm 16. I don't care, you've still got homework. For your information, I've already done it. For your information, I checked your bag. Unbelievable, Dad, you can't go rummaging through my private I'm not stuff. standing here arguing the toss with you. Now get back to that flat now. Why is everything my fault? Get back. Why should I? Because, young lady, if you don't walk out of here right now, I will drag you out. Your choice. You see what I've got to put up with? The sooner we find a flat, the better. You know, chance of that, is there? Well, there might be. Are you going to listen to me? Only you might find being adults is harder than you think. It's about keeping your promises. Thinking about other people. Not expecting everything to be handed to you on a plate. And being able to choose who you want to be with. To a point. You mean we still have to do what you say? Well, you don't know what that is, you. Oh, for crying out loud. Right, listen. You two have been looking for the place of your own. Yeah. And what you found is it's an expensive world out there and you can't afford one. Well, maybe just... So, what I'm saying is, OK, you can go and say his place. But in return, I expect a bit of respect and good manners and a smile on your face instead of looking like you've just bitten into a lemon. Yeah? Well, yeah, I suppose, but do you mean it? Well, I wouldn't say it if I didn't. Well, thanks. That's great. But you have to deliver your side of the bargain, all right? Yeah, sure. Thanks, Dad. Come on. Get out of here. Oh. Thank you, Mr Armstrong. Yeah. Hi, Chez. Hi, Katie. How are you? Hi, thanks. Glad to hear you're going to be our guest. I'm going to go and get changed. What's going to him? Don't ask me. Work. They are. Lunch break. Anyway, never mind us. Why aren't you at the market and why is she not at school? I've got a study period. Yeah, and I'm on my lunch break and all. So we thought we'd just come back here and uh, we'll study. Really? Is that our Christmas tree? Yeah. Why? It's bobbins, that's why. Oh. Thanks! There's this bloke on the market, Keith the Teeth. He's got some miles better than that. Well, I could pick one up. My treat. Well, I, I've been finished working a bit. If you hang on, I'll come with you. Oh, uh, you and Fizz can go. Have a nice day out. Nah. If we leave them alone, they'll end up buying the cheapest one. Well, let's do it in style this year. Oh, OK. Come on, give us a hand getting your with that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> nice one, you div. What? We could have had the place to ourselves and studied twice if you were lucky. Very stupid things. Hey! And where are you two off? Thought you were stopping here tonight. Yeah, we will. We're just taking Schmackle for a walk and then we're going to go back to mine and watch a DVD. He's got a better telly than us. And he's gone out for the night. <laughs> right, see you then. See ya! See ya! I'll get that too. <laughs> How's this? Yeah, she's getting stronger all the time. And the baby? Yeah, she's a fighter. I'm sure she'll be all right. 
I just popped back to get some bits and pieces for Fizz. It's all right, we've already done it. You have a pack tape, um, slippers, pyjamas, toothbrush and that's on the table. Are you? A couple of mind readers? No, just some chill, thoughtful teenagers in there. Put my handbag to it. Cheers. Um, anybody want a brew? No, it's all right, we've already got one. This is the smallest one I could find. <laughs> Sweet, yeah. They won't let her have it in the incubator with her, will they? No, but it's the thought what counts. No matter how old she gets, it's like, even when she's 80, she'll always be able to say, my Uncle Chesney bought us that. Oh, that's sweet, that, isn't it, John? Yeah. <laughs> Are you off to the hospital now, John? Yeah. Do you need a lift? I was about to go, but uh, if you're um, coming, then I can... Well, we're going to go and see my dad first. He's gone to our visits. Oh, all right. Well, I'll see you up there later. Then. All right, John. See you later. See you, John. After every 